Hello and welcome to fit to box channel and today I'm doing a review of the winning maintenance kit the F-73 maintenance, maintenance kit. I'm going to show you what's in the maintenance kit but I'm actually going to show you how to apply it to a pair of gloves as well. Um, so here we go, I'll just show you the pouch there, what's, what's in there, so you can see F-73 maintenance kit. Uh, I'll bring those back in a moment and just show you what is in here. So it's a, a zip as you can see in the plastic carrying pouch and then I'll just bring out the items and go through them one by one so you know what to use and how to use them. Okay, so in the pouch you have got a cardboard bit there uh, which is all in Japanese to be honest. So uh, what I've been able to do is there is some very useful pictures there and I've been able to decipher from those pictures which parts and which stage of the cleaning process are there but again if I can show you that see those pictures there the universal language of pictures it does say one two and three which gives us the stages so we've got those there Let, let's just put those to one side so what have we got we have got as I say the plastic carrying pouch we have the Japanese instructions uh, we show you the steps one, two, and three. We have glove lotion there, okay? Glove lotion, as you can see. Then I'll put that to one side. Then we have uh, it's a little square sponge. Okay, so I've actually used that one. Obviously, that's got a bit of the uh, the actual ointment on. So there's the square sponge. Then we've also got two yellow cloths, and if I open those out, you can see they're the same size, yellow cloth, and another soft yellow cloth. There's two yellow cloths there. Uh, then we've also got the sponge there, which has got a hard rectangular bit to hold on to, and then the sponge bit, as you can see, as I have tested this product, you can see where the actual... Uh, sport oil has gone into that one put that one to there and finally we have got the sports oil as well okay so i'll just uh, get that open and that shows you the sports oil there okay so um this is about glove maintenance and uh, obviously people spend uh, hundreds of pounds on their gloves uh, and you want them to last as long as possible. I can always remember as a boy playing uh, football, that's uh, English football, uh, not American football. But uh, when my dad said to me, when I bought some, I used to buy a new pair of boots every January when it was my birthday. And uh, with my birthday money, I'd buy a new pair of leather leather boots and they would be uh, Patrick Kevin Seven or uh, Puma Kenny Dalgleish, uh, Nike Tiempo or uh, Nike, Nike Tiempo as I used to call them back then. Uh, and, and I used to have all these, uh, uh, Patrick Jan Mulby uh, and these, bo these, uh, these boots, these football boots. But what I used to do is I used to clean them religiously every single week. I used to get the mud off them. And what I used to do is I used to put uh, Chelsea dubbing on, uh, on the seams and all over the boots, which was really sort of to protect that leather, make sure that it was supple and that it didn't crack. And to be honest, that sports oil is so close to Chelsea dubbing, it wouldn't surprise me if it's exactly the same stuff. It smells the same and takes me back. Um, so, uh, same again, uh, I used to really look after them, them boots and I do look after my gloves as well. Prior to sort of getting this kit, I used to wipe my gloves down um, and sort of obviously make sure to dry them off and use a deodorizer as well uh, to give them a bit of a freshen up inside. Uh, now I've got this kit, this is what I'm using uh, and it is excellent, it really is good. As with all winning products, uh, they really do uh, know how to make the right products for whatever they are doing, whether that is head guards or punch pads or, or gloves, whatever they are making, they just seem to have it exactly spot on. So, um, 
with, with regards to sort of keeping that maintenance ongoing, it's a bit like when you have a new car. You have a new car and suddenly you find yourself cleaning it all the while. And after six months, suddenly you're not, you're not cleaning it as much. So all I would say to you is with gloves, as I've said before, you pay hundreds of pounds for your gloves. Um, it's only right that you should spend some money to try and extend the life of those. And I genuinely believe that if you were to use um, a product like this, <clears throat> on those gloves that you would definitely extend the life of them and um, just because of the care uh, and the, the special things that you're using that will make that difference when it comes to wear and tear okay so uh, let's have a look um, here's a glove uh, there that I actually cleaned that glove yesterday and come up really nice and uh, it smells really nice as well from from that sort of sports oil and uh, it's come up really nice uh, and I made sure that on those bits of stitching that I really did sort of concentrate on those. So let's put that to one side. I did leave one glove that was uh, not been cleaned. Uh, in fact, that one's still got somebody's blood on. Uh, not mine, I hasten to add. Uh, but yeah, I shall get that cleaned off during this process now. So in terms of step one. Step one is the lotion. And it's also... I'll put that to one side there and I'll put that to one side. Uh, step one is also a little square sponge and one of the yellow um, pieces of cloth there. Okay, so that's, that's step one. Uh, step two is the sports oil and you apply it with that there. And then step three is the actual buffing up process so let's just show you um I'll, I'll do it on here so first of all step one you got the lotion you fl flick that off like that there's two ways you can apply this you can either put it straight onto the glove so you give it a little bit of a squeeze so i'll put that on there like so okay or you could even just put it onto straight onto the actual sponge so as you can see what I've done there. And then you just start to work it into the glove. Uh, that person's blood's come off already, which is ace. Um, and you just work it round the glove like that. That's it. And you can see really getting nice and clean that glove. I'll just do the, the back of the glove actually. So then we'll come on to that, that stitching on the back. And you need to do this for, for the whole glove, obviously. But for the benefit of the video, I'll just show you the, the reverse of the glove. So I put that there. And then in a circular motion, just going all over. Paying particular attention to the stitching um, around there. Okay, so that's, that's that part there. Then to finish off step one, give it a little bit of a wipe over with the actual cloth. And already you can see there's a shine appeared across the whole of the glove. And that is really nice to see. Um, you could spend as little or as long on this process. But that is step one. Step two, just, uh, step two is the sports oil. So... Open up the sports oil and you take your, your applicator there, which is hard on the back so you can grip onto it. And you've got sponge and you just get some of the sports oil on. This is what I referred to as uh, very similar to the Chelsea dubbing that I used to use on those football boots. And literally all I'm doing as I come here is I'm just applying it all over the glove. I'm paying particular attention so it does go onto the seams as well and I'm literally just applying it generously across to the glove and I do the front as well as the back of course again get some more on there and then start to bring it across I'm using circular motions you could you could do that or you could do any way you wanted but it is about getting a good amount of the sports oil onto the glove and bring that round okay 
So what I would do then at the end of step number two is I would leave that to dry off a little bit just so uh, the actual oil seeps into the various bits of the stitching. Okay. So I'd leave it to dry a little. I'm not going to leave it to dry a little here because obviously I'm doing a video for you. But once it has air dried, I'd then get the third piece, step three, and then I'd start to buff it up. That's it. Again, pay attention to those bits of stitching. Uh, just like my dad used to show me when I was doing those football boots. Um, because it is the stitching that needs that oil to really seep into the leather and make the leather really pliable and make it last longer there and then again on that velcro bit there give it a good rub okay so I've done the, I've done the rear of the glove there for you but as you can see you can see how much cleaner it is um, also the smell it does smell nice as well mainly from that sports oil so there's the three step process for the maintenance kit and um, what I'd also do obviously I'd leave that to dry now but I'd also get some deodorizer uh, the one where it shoots out the top not a spray like that but one where it shoots out the top put that in and give that a spray to keep the inside of the glove fresh as well um, in regards to this kit and the amount of cost um, you can pick them up from anything from in England from 26 well uh, 21 pounds or 26 dollars or 35 pounds uh, 45 dollars um, okay I'm sure that you could pick up some sort of alternatives if you didn't want to get this pack I'm sure you could get some Chelsea dubbing uh, which is that stuff there I'm sure you could pick up some other lo lotion as well um, I think the important thing is that you get quality items uh, to use to clean your boxing gloves um, it just so happens that what winning have done here is they've put it all together in one pack so you haven't it takes the um, takes the guesswork out of it and you literally can just follow the steps and you can even follow the steps even though they're in Japanese um, so there you go I mean you I would say you could use this on any gloves and it would would benefit the gloves uh, obviously do a small section of the glove just to test it I would hate for you to use it and eat for to damage your gloves so do test it on a small sort of innocuous section first of all I think they say that uh, with any cleaning products um, but I, I wouldn't have thought that this would damage any any sort of leather gloves at all um, so there you go um, give it a try I would say it's well worth the pack, the, the pack there. I mean, you don't have to use a lot to, to do a glove. So a pack like that would last you quite a while as well. Um, perhaps the glove lotion may sort of uh, uh, run out first. But, you know, you, if you used it in the right way, I'm sure you'd get a hell of a lot of cleaning out of that one pack. So there you are. I'll just bring that round there. Those are those gloves there. Both smelling nice and, uh, and looking nice and fresh and ready to be used again so I'll just put them to dry now uh, but I did want to show you that the winning F-73 maintenance kit as with all winning products I think that is excellent so uh, well done to winning once again uh, please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and I'll continue to bring you as many uh, reviews and things that I think that you would be interested in also in the comment section tell me uh, what you'd like to see someone in the uh, one of the viewers in the comment section actually or a couple of viewers in the comment section actually requested me to do this and I actually went out and bought it on the basis of that so I could do this video uh, in saying that I will be using it so uh, it's not a waste of money Alright, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so that any videos that I do, you do get straight away. Thanks again. I shall speak to you soon.